I don't picture Ryan Mallett sitting around here till he's 30 waiting for Tom Brady to move on down the, the highway. But what I do imagine is that you take Brian Hoyer or you take Ryan Mallett and, and you turn them into something that's valuable to somebody else, like they did with Matt Castle, mm-hmm. and you get something that helps your organization moving forward. Now, I think it's probably more likely they deal Hoyer away than Mallett, and I don't think that's going to happen like this year or something. No. But, you know, in the off season. You know, maybe you, you move Hoyer on, you move Mallet into the full-time backup role. Obviously, your starting quarterback here is set for a while. Well, with the uh, with the roster scenario that they have now with this 46 guys, and if you want to keep that third quarterback, it's not an emergency scenario. It's a little easier to keep a third guy. I don't think once they drafted him in the third round, there was any doubt that he was going to be here. That's that's really not the issue, uh, but... Uh, it's gonna. You're gonna see him progress. You're gonna see him get some more time in the preseason. And the best thing he can do is the same thing that Matt Castle did: is follow Tom Brady around like a little puppy and do everything that Tom Brady does. And if he's smart, and if his his dad, I guess, was a coach, he I was. Know, yeah. yeah, he was. You know, if he's smart enough to understand that, then that's how you get a forty-two million dollar contract like Matt Castle did. I also don't think, and the caller brought up, you know, the the uh, yeah, you know, Belichick bringing in questionable characters and talked about Hainsworth and, mm-hmm. and, and he mentioned Mallet. Mallet's had issues, but I think they're really more maturity issues than they are character issues. Sure, absolutely. There were a lot of whispers about him. He's a kid. Yeah. He's a young but, kid. I don't think, I, at least based on the things I've read, I don't sense that there are character issues. There are There are certainly maturity issues, and apparently the Patriots felt confident enough that those issues could be addressed and changed, or they wouldn't have drafted. Well, there was a rumor in Charlotte he missed his uh, interview with the Panthers because he was hungover. Yep, and that was uh, kiboshed, I believe. That I was going to say there was no. Uh, that wasn't something that was confirmed. That was a a, a rumor that speculation. was speculation. And right. Carolina, I don't think Carolina ever said anything like they that. Didn't. No. They didn't. So, and yeah, there's a lot of guys do stupid things when they're young. Present company included. I'm looking at you, and I'm looking at you, me. Right? We all do. We all sure. You know, absolutely. but when you're but when you're a high profile college quarterback, uh, those are a little more noticeable, and especially when you're a draft, uh, a possible draftee in a league that's very conscious of all that stuff. It's even more. It's even more going to be going to be on the radar even more. So, hopefully, whatever those problems were are behind him, and I'm sure the Patriots talked to him before they ever drafted him about it. 